All right, Jersey Jaguar, back at you with another video. And today, I'm going to do another pickup video. It's going to be my second pickup video. This time, it's going to be on the reverse retro 2.0s and the ones that I got. So guys, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it simple. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with the details of the jersey itself, followed by the reason why I got it. Then I'm going to go into if there's anything that I will change on the jersey. And finally, I'm going to give it a great review. All right, guys, let's get to it now. All right, and starting off with the bunch, we have the New York Islanders. And guys, I chose Barzal on this one. You know, uh, this season he's not doing bad. He's having a lot of assists, not so much with the goals, but, you know, still looking decent. They're going to actually wear these this month in December sometime. Now, guys, um, it's based off the 1995 Fisherman jersey, a.k.a. the Fish Sticks jersey. So, guys, it is pretty cool to see this logo come back. However, the jersey itself has a lot of changes than it originally was so it is a darker shade of navy uh from what i could see also too the striping is completely different they took out the teal throughout the jersey and the gray they have just hairs of teal in the logo as you can see right here now guys the jersey itself overall is cool one thing i really like is the font style that it has on there uh the font does go on an angle for the numbers on the back However, that rear name is straight across, opposed to original where it had a wavy name to follow the accents of the wavy lines. Guys, the jersey overall, like I said, is cool. Um, I really like it. I like that bright orange on top of the navy. However, I think they could have done a better job with the striping if I had to change something. Also, too, if there's something else that I had to change, I think I would have thrown in a little bit more teal, specifically maybe in the numbers it would have looked nice. Besides that overall good jersey, I picked it up, guys, because I needed a Islanders jersey. And it was a tough choice between this one and their alternate, uh, the Royal that says NY on the front. But I decided to go with this one, you know, because it has the Fisherman logo and it's nice. So that's why I picked it up. Now, guys, if I have to give it a grade, I give it a solid eight. They did a good job with the logo. However, the rest of the jersey felt a little short, but it still looks good. You know, it still is very unique. And overall, it does do a good job. Just could have used a little bit of tweaking here and there. All right, going out to the Pacific Northwest, we have the Seattle Kraken. And this is a jersey I've been really looking forward to uh, in terms of see how it would look. And unfortunately, I got Grubauer, nothing against him. However, he hasn't wore it yet. And I have a rule that I only like getting jerseys of players that actually wore it on the ice. Now, guys, that's all they had at the NHL shop. So I'm probably going to return it also because it has a little bit of a stain on the front. So I'm going to have to return it anyways. And I'm probably going to pick up another player if they have it at some point or I'm going to get a blank and get it customized. Guys, I will say this. It is based off the 1950s Iron Man. As you can see here, you can see the resemblance between the jersey. They did tweak the front S obviously to the current logo. And it, it is not split into two colors on the front logo. Just a single solid ice blue as they call it on the front now guys the stripes on the front look awesome however when you flip this jersey around the back of the jersey looks simply awesome between the stripes and that two-tone contrast color scheme guys on the ice as you can see right here these jerseys really pop when you watch highlights or if you saw the games already you'll know what i'm talking about and honestly this is one of those jerseys where pictures don't do it justice um i got it because i wanted a jersey with a different color scheme unique to only that team and this jersey does that there's no other team i think in any other sports that has this specific ice blue so that's cool so i'll probably get rid of the other kraken jersey that i have guys if there's something that i would change i would definitely change the logo on the front i would put that ink around the front and you might have a nine and a half to ten out of ten on a jersey but guys as is i think i'll give it a solid like seven and a half maybe at most it is a cool jersey a little bit plain the thing that does this jersey justice is that color alone besides that it isn't bad maybe you could even give it like a high seven uh i still think that'd be fair but overall a good jersey i'm kind of glad that i got it
card. And next, we got probably the best of the bunch from the 2.0s, if not top three at the worst, and that is the Florida Panthers, all right? And I got Alexander Barkov. He's the captain. That's all they had available on NHL Shop at the time when it went there. Guys, absolutely beautiful jersey. First, let's start with that color scheme. That color scheme is second to none. You got a beautiful true sky blue along with that vivid yellow creating an awesome contrast with the jersey. Guys, this screams a Florida beach. That front logo is absolutely awesome. Now, if you guys remember, this jersey is based off the 1998 and they took the shoulder logo and put it onto the front. All right, so it's cool to finally see that. I would always think about how would it look if they didn't. They finally did it and it works. Now, guys, in terms of the shoulder logos, those are from the 2010 alternates that they were, uh, you know, about 10 or 12 years ago. So, guys, moving along, um, the color scheme on the font is navy on top of white. Now, keep in mind that the factory version is layer twill. The true version should be kiss cut. So, keep them in mind if you're planning on purchasing this jersey. Besides that, absolutely awesome jersey, guys. I got it because the color alone was enough to get it. Plus, two, the jersey just overall looks awesome. Like I said, I have a Panthers jersey, but really couldn't pass this one up. Now, guys, if there's something that I would have to change, it would be that color layout on the numbers and letters. I would throw in red or yellow in some iteration on there. I would mix it up a little bit and play with it to see how it would work. Guys, overall, though, I still give this jersey a 9 to a 9.5. If they had a maxed out color scheme on the font, you can even get it as high as like a high 9 if not a 10, this jersey is absolutely beautiful in my eyes. And of course, it's always eyes of the beholder. All right, guys, let's move on. All right, keeping it in state, we got the Tampa Bay Lightning and none other than himself, the captain, Steven Stamkos. Now, guys, we're to start with this jersey. I'm going to start with the body of the jersey. It is fully supplemented with the rain on the body. And then at the bottom of the body, we got the waves both on the front and the back. Now, guys, if we go to the sleeves, you see that the sleeves are actually stitched on and not supplemented on, so it's kind of cool to see. Now, this is a direct reverse retro of the 1997 season. They swapped the colors around, all right, as you can see here. And on the current jersey, they even kept those little stripes that their older Lightning jerseys had by the armpits. Now, guys, the coolest part about this jersey, if you ask me, is the font, and it is a nice electrified font. However, on the factory version, it's stacked twill, aka layered twill. On the true version, it's supposed to be kiss cut, from what I understand. All right, guys, and doing a little research here in this picture, you can see that it is kiss cut so you can see the stitches there going into the white from the black all right guys so now is there anything that i will change i would say maybe on the shoulders i would have made the shoulders blue just to mix it up a little bit more and see how that would have looked or maybe make the shoulders black and the sleeves blue who knows uh i guess i could mess with it in a pro computer program one time play with it and see how it looks uh guys now i got this jersey because i needed a lightning and i've been really wanting a steven stamkos i missed out on last year's stadium series so when i see this one i'm like perfect it's stamkos it looks awesome let's get it all right guys overall what do i give this jersey i'm gonna give it a solid eight and a half you know it is awesome it is a little gaudy but that's the beauty of reverse retros is that gaudy wild look so guys eight and a half i could even give it a high eight uh, if they played around with it, I think they might be able to max it out a little bit more. Maybe try a different logo on the front. Uh, besides that, though, man, really awesome jersey. All right, and finishing things off for my pickups are going to be the Washington Capitals. And, of course, it's going to be Ovechkin. So guys, a lot to talk about this jersey. First and foremost, overall, I put it in the top three for the reverse retro 2.0s. Originally, I thought it was so-so. It grew on me, it grew on me. I kept looking at it. I kept liking it more. Eventually, until I got one. So guys, beautiful jersey. Um, lucky I got one. It's based off the 2005 Capitol Building jersey. So when you look at the shoulders, we're going to start with the shoulders this time. That shoulder logo was actually on the front of the original jersey. And the striping was a little bit different. This time, the striping is angled from the Screaming Eagles originally. And they have this awesome black, gold, blue color scheme. Now, on the back of the jersey, it still has that angular effect. 
Guys, one thing I want to say about this font, it's truly awesome. I think they did a good job with the color uh, scheme. I was wondering how like blue would have looked at the top layer, and then white, then maybe that copper on the bottom. It should be metallic copper from what I understand. Uh, guys, on the factory version, keep in mind though, it is kiss cut, it looks like, but the middle layer of that copper is embroidered. It is not twill, all right? So on the game worn version, it is kiss cut or uh, semi kiss cut, if you, want, if you want to call it that. So guys, what else to talk about? We got the font, we got the stripes, we got the shoulders. Now the front logo is the Screaming Eagle logo. If you guys ask me, man, having a Screaming Eagle, the national bird for the Capitals team is a awesome choice. Well done in this jersey. I picked it up because I needed a Capitals jersey. I was having a choice which one I liked better. Was it this one or the 1.0? I think in my video I chose the 1.0. However, I'm starting to think I might like this 2.0 better. I don't know. I think if I find a 1.0 my size, which is a 50, if you guys have one, let me know. I'll probably get it and then compare the two side by side and see which one I like better. Is there anything I'd like to change on this jersey? Honestly, no. This jersey is a solid nine and a half, if not even a little bit higher. They really maxed it out. There's really not too much more you can do with this jersey for what it is. I think they got the most out of it. And it's even cooler because they got the assistant and the captain C and A on the opposite side of the jersey due to the size and the shape of the logo. Guys, it's an awesome jersey. Happy to have it. That's it. And there we go. Those are my pickups. How do you guys like these pickups? Was there any ones that you picked up? Or is there ones that you want to pick up in the future that you weren't able to get on the release day? Guys, is there anything that you would change on any of these reverse retros? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if there's a video that you'd like to see in the future. Until then, guess what? I'll see you at the next one.